looks upside down. Thanks to my younger brother. Cheers, mate. Um, and now I'm going to start by opening the center case slot. I'm going to open a small section first. If you're wondering why I put that duct tape there, that's to prevent something like that. The blade is touching the bottom panel. The duct tape is touching the side panel. That should prevent stuff like that. You could see the blade was not parallel to this panel. It was something like that because of the duct tape. Only slightly, but um, it's not a problem because this has to be rounded. So I have that there on this side from today, and I have something similar on the other side from the jigsaw blade when I was cutting the bottom panel. So that will take as the same amount of um, carrying compound on both sides, makes for a balanced hull. <laughs> the joys of a small workshop. Quarantine out of your gym, build a boat. I think that's enough for one day. While removing the temporary screws that were holding the bottom, one of the heads broke, so now I have a broken screw in there. I'm going to try to heat this up with a small soldering iron, is all I have. Uh, if the epoxy gets softer, I will then try to take it off with uh, some pliers. This might take a while. That's one. One more to go.
three minutes heat was enough. I'm happy now. <laughs> I need to round this edge to six millimeter radius before I apply the tape. To help me do that, I'm gonna draw two lines, three and a half millimeters from that edge. Right. Box of goodies. It's been in my car for four days. So no virus. It's clean. I don't have small ones, so I'm gonna have to make them. This tape has a string on one of the sides and that is really hard to sand. So I'm gonna put that side on the bottom, the one that has no string. I'm gonna apply epoxy and then cut this end here and then fold it. First coat them. Meanwhile, I'm gonna do a bit more of this filling, fairing thing. <laughs> uh, 
um, and I'm going to do the rest of the areas on the other side. Something else while it dries. I'm gonna coat the bottom now. I'm going to do two coats on the bottom and then let it dry, sand it, do the fairing here on the tape and then give the final coat. This is the first coat, I don't need to drag the roller here as I'm pretty sure all the epoxy is going to be soaked in. So. And that's it guys, best part of 10 hours today, so I had enough. That's not dry enough yet to sand, so I'm just gonna concentrate on the bits. I need to do some fairing and leave this for next week.
that's that side done, let's start on the other one. Top corner, pocket one. Okay guys, that's enough for this week. I worked 26 hours, 10 hours yesterday, but that's because I wanted to finish some stuff, like um, the tape, the first rounding the corners, then the tape, then covering all the holes. Um, I done some fairing there, and then put epoxy over it. I don't know if that's the right way of doing it. I probably should have coated the bottom first before I done any of this but it seems to be all right. Um, I really wanted to have all that done yesterday, so um, it was kind of a um, rush decision, I guess. But yeah, I'm happy, so I'll see you guys next week.